Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup, your go-to channel for all the juiciest updates in the music industry. Today, we're diving deep into the ongoing drama between Nicki Minaj, Jay-Z, and Steve Stout. Nicki recently went on an epic online rant, spilling some serious tea about her involvement with Tidal and taking shots at some major figures in the business. So what's going on? Let's break it all down. First, Nicki Minaj took to X, formerly known as Twitter, to shed light on her experience with the sale of Tidal. For those of you who might not know, Tidal was once owned by Jay-Z and a group of artists, including Nicki, Rihanna, and Beyonce, who all reportedly held equity in the company. In her tweet storm, Nicki revealed that when Tidal was sold to Jack Dorsey's Square Inc., she was offered a million dollars as hush money for the deal, only to be told she had just 24 hours to sign or miss out on the money altogether. She declined the offer making it clear she felt scammed and wasn't interested in being silenced. Now, things took an even more dramatic turn when Nicki started aiming at Steve Stout, longtime music executive, and Rock Nation's Desiree Perez, the chief operating officer. She accused them of keeping the conversation on her to avoid attention on certain charges against their close friends. Nicki didn't hold back, questioning why these figures continue to target her and avoid talking about more serious matters involving their associates. She also reposted a fan comparing Stout's claims about her missing a title payment to Cameron and Mace missing a contract for Fanatics Fest, further fueling speculation that Nicki was being mistreated by industry insiders. It's crazy. Me and you were supposed to be a fanatics. The, the week before fanatics happens, oh, Cam and Mace didn't sign the contract. <laughs> we banned from fanatics, but who's in fanatics? <laughs> I'm going to start saying names. <laughs> Yo, it's wild, man. It's wild. <laughs> the hate bro. is crazy. Yeah. Let's not forget that this all started when Nicki accused Jay-Z of blocking Lil Wayne from performing at the Super Bowl in his hometown, New Orleans. While this may seem like old news, Nicki is bringing it back into the spotlight, questioning Jay-Z's personal and professional decisions. It's clear that her frustrations with Rock Nation and Jay-Z have been building for a while, especially since she claims she never received any payout from the title sale, despite promoting it heavily alongside Beyonce. To put this all into perspective, Nicki's frustrations seem to stem from feeling sidelined despite being a key player in Tidal's promotion. She's been vocal about her contributions and her belief that artists like her deserve more respect, particularly when other stakeholders reportedly received $9 million payouts from the sale. It's not just the money either. Nicki feels she's been consistently targeted and disrespected by powerful figures in the industry, while they avoid discussing the issues that matter most, like allegations of abuse within their circles. At the end of the day, Nicki Minaj is not holding back. From calling out Jay-Z and Steve Stout, to rejecting hush money from title sale, she's standing firm in her truth. What do you think about her comments? Is she being unfairly treated by the music industry's power players? Or is there more to the story? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more music industry updates. I'll see you next time on The Red Carpet Re-Up. Stay tuned for more tea.